In this video we will cover how to use Nordia API to make a payment. Please remember we will need an access token before making any request. To learn how to get access token please check one of our previous videos. Since now we have the access token, we can proceed with our request. Making a payment is a four-step process. First we need to get the account ID of the account from which the payment has to be made. Then using this account we initiate payment. Once the payment is initiated, and the amount and account to which the payment needs to be made filled, we would need to confirm the payment. This prompts the user to approve the payment using Nordia Codes app. Once the user has approved the payment then we can use the Get Payment endpoint to confirm that the payment is made. So now let's get started. To list all the accounts of the user, we use the List Accounts endpoint from the Accounts Information Services API. This will list all the accounts for which the user has given access to. From the response we copy the ID of the account we want to make payments from. To initiate payment we first need to change the API to Payment Initiation Service API, and in this API we use the Initiate Payment Endpoint. Once this endpoint is selected, you can see the default response value in the Request Body Parameters section. You can edit it, if you wish to change request body parameters. You can find more details about the request parameter from documentation. Once we are happy with the request body parameters, we can send the request, and see the payment details in the response. From this response we use the payment ID to confirm this payment. To do this, we now use the confirm payment endpoint, and use the recently generated payment ID as the URL parameter. Once we confirm the payment by sending request, it changes the payment status to pending user approval. This means that in real scenarios the user need to approve the payment using Nordia Codes app, but in the sandbox and API console we automatically approve the payment after a few seconds. Now to confirm that the payment has been paid, we use the get payment endpoint and use the payment ID as a URL parameter. On sending the request we see the status of the payment in the response body parameter. In this case it is paid. Other possible values for the status can be found in the documentation page. The link is provided in the description. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments please drop us a mail at nordiaopenbanking at nordia.com.